so next we have so how does this work robert these are are we gonna watch the trailer this is for nightmare on elm street uh trailer lookbacks yeah so this youtube i didn't know if we want to do that this show but it was like uh they put together yeah. all the, the trailers for every nightmare on elm street so sometimes yeah. the trailers are interesting because it makes the movie look a little bit different or you can see like why we kind of bought into it so um, oh so yeah that, no that could be uh listeners would uh, either watch or listen with us or however it works and then we could uh stop it in between and kind of quickly talk about what that trailer was like okay great so after each trailer i'll just do a, a little pause and we'll do yeah, a reflection yeah. yeah and you might have to edit out ads in case we, that shows up during the youtube I already took them out i've destroyed okay. them Oof. Nice. All right. So I'll just share this. And I will say, um, listening back on old shows when we go through trailers, um, it's pretty interesting even without the uh, the audio. Um, or the video. Or, or the video, I yeah, mean. Yeah. yeah. Now, without the audio, it would be disastrous. Yeah, it would just be blank. Like, this movie's not good at all. <laughs> this movie's not good at all. All right. So we will watch the uh, trailer for the original. The kids of Elm Street don't know it yet. But something is coming to get them. There's something out there, isn't there? We just see cuts happen. What did that, Lieutenant? I don't know. Peter! What's the coroner got to say? He's in the jail and puking since he saw it. They're gonna kill me for sure. Did you do it? There was somebody else there. He was locked in a room with a girl who went in alive and came out in a rubber bag. No one knows where it came from or who it will visit next. Nancy, there's something wrong with you. You're imagining things. Nightmare on Elm Street. Do you believe in the boogeyman? No. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. No! She's the only one who can stop it. If she fails, I'm your boyfriend now, Nancy. No one will survive. From Wes Craven, director of The Hills Have Eyes and Last House on the Left, a new masterpiece in fantasy terror, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes, I would watch it, and I do love the old movie trailer guide they used to use in yes. the seventies and eighties. I, the one they have in the grindhouse and everything. Yes. Um, but yeah, I, I still think the special effects in that movie were so great for its time, and uh, it. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, one, I kind of forget. Like they literally go through the entire movie, like, and here's how it ends. Now, at yeah, the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. they weren't living and breathing trailers, or you know, you got to see them once, maybe in the theater, and that was, you know, it. If you could remember, you know, what happened or so forth. So now it's kind of strange. Halloween, the original Halloween, had the same thing where everything's happening and there, and it's like she's bang on the Tommy, let me in. I was like, well, there's the whole movie, you know. <laughs> like, I and sometimes what's they yeah. they did that in later years, and it didn't yeah. work, like Castaway. Yeah. You're like, oh, I guess he gets off the island. Yeah, congratulations. So, um, yeah, one, it still makes you want to see it. Um, it's That's true to the movie. Um, and I was having hearkening back to, obviously, I was at an age where I heard about this movie because it was open to kind of a limited release. I and mean, everybody was excited to see it because it was kind of a brand new take on horror. Um, and so, and for a while, it was the only one. Um, but I do find it interesting. They, oh, yeah. they don't even, obviously, later, I'm sure we'll see the name Freddy Krueger isn't even mentioned, you know? No, I didn't it, pick up yeah, on that. You're right. Yeah. It's just a, it's entity. about a nightmare. Yeah. 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 So, um, but yeah, so it's, I think it's still, yeah, a good trailer. And it's interesting, you know, from Wes Craven, the director of like, now he'll be ever for tied, you know, you do, you can't hear his name without hearing Elm Street and scream, but before all this, that uh, last house on left. And yeah. So, Oh, which is such a disturbing yeah. movie. Yeah. But was yeah, Nightmare so on Elm Street like Friday the Thirteenth, where they wanted to make it an anthology, and then Freddy just got popular, and they made it about him? Like, no, maybe no, um, yeah, it was different. Well, a little bit. So Robert Robert Shea, uh, and he put a lot of money into it, so he kind of had a lot of say at time. And this was New Line had had only been a distributor, and I think they only had only produ helped produce or something a couple of films. And Elm Street was one of one of, if not the first. Um, so uh, they uh -huh. um, so. Uh, because he put so much money into it, Shay kind of had a little bit more sway. So King, uh, not King, uh, Craven wanted it to end pretty definitively. 
um, that that was the end of whatever she killed him and that they're moving on with their life. And and Shay made him shoot a couple of different other endings because he knew. Uh, yeah, the old switcheroo there. Yeah. So the one they chose um, is, um, you know, where they're in, in the car and um, Freddie's not driving, but it kind of takes off in the girl. So they kind of opened the door or whatever. So so Shay knew that there was franchise possibilities here so they were also uh to say typical producers not smart enough when we go to elm street 2 uh they weren't willing to pay robert england the money uh to be freddie they thought they could do kind of do a jason thing where it could be just random stunt person playing uh the freddie Krueger oh, character um and they quickly imagine. realized in the first week or two that this was not going to happen and there's still there's a couple shots where it is not robert england and you can tell it is not him. It might show up in the the Elm Street two trailer. I'm not sure, but we can talk about that when we get there. But, but yeah. So it obviously, um, as we know, um, New Line is the, the they used to call it the house that Freddie built because they made Freddie Krueger made New Line what it is today or was before they got bought out. Yeah. No, he saying. bankrolled it. Yeah. Good so. call, Robert. Uh, and here is the trailer. Uh, the next trailer. Someone is coming back to Elm Street. He is not friendly. He is not patient. And he is not a welcome visitor. No! 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 But he has something terribly special for the new kid on the block. It started to happen again. Dad! I'm in trouble. You've had some scary dreams, okay? How? Daddy can't help you now. There's something inside him. <laughs> Find him! You are not afraid of him. He doesn't even exist. Freddy Krueger is back on Elm Street. Get out of here, Lisa! Jesse, find him! Watch out for him. He'll be in your neighborhood soon. A Nightmare on Elm Street, Part 2. You are all my children now. Freddy's Revenge. <laughs> I love the flashing, too. I don't know why. I was, always remember that. It was like, two, 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 two. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I do like the flashing, too. Yep. It makes um, me want to watch it. Yeah, I was like, yeah. And so a couple couple takeaways. Um, they used Elm Street 2 music, um, which sometimes they just go back to, they just pipe in the original music. So so this still, obviously, you could tell now, obviously, between title, whatever, it's a Freddy movie now. So, But it still makes you like, yeah, yeah. they're doing more. Can't wait to see how great it's going to be. <laughs> right, right. And you can see they did um, almost Meryl Streep as Lisa in there. Oh, like yes. More of a teen I mean, the first one's certainly centric around yeah. teenagers, but it had more of a teenager appeal. Like, yo, this is our audience. This is the demographic. We're catering to this now. Um, and I, I thought I thought it's a solid trailer. It makes me want to yeah. see it. I yeah. like it. It's a um, and these are all streaming, I think, on Max as well right now, if I remember right. So um, they are. They are. indeed. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So and as a movie, you know, it's here's the thing. This trailer also matches the movie. It's not like you're getting sold a bill of goods. I won't name names like Halloween five where <laughs> like <laughs> this time they're ready. I'm like, well, not really. No, they weren't. Uh, they were yeah, not prepared. Uh, yeah. Um, it, it matches the, what you see is kind of what you get. And, um, but yeah, so, um, still looks good to me. It kind of got me excited. So the scenes I was talking about are actually show up a few couple times in the trailer. So during the gym shower and it's all foggy, you see Freddie Krueger walk up like this. Obviously that is not Robert England. I did see that. Yeah. Yeah. And you can immediately tell it's like, oh, my God, like and obviously, thankfully, they're like, this is not. <laughs> yeah. Good thing they had the wherewithal to say, like, this is not going to work working. But yeah, so must suck them. to be that guy and be like, yeah, I was uh, Freddy Krueger for a day. <laughs> Actually, it might be awesome to be like, I was Freddy Krueger for a day. Yeah. But Good. yeah. So anyway, but yeah, still holds up and kind of still get you excited. You know, and still does get you excited. The same All right. Thing. We'll watch the next trailer. <laughs>
nightmare on Elm Street Part 3. Freddy's just around the corner. Can't hear. Dream Warriors. <laughs> Good trailer. A, a radical departure from the first two. Um, did not expect the hand to come out of the church. Yeah. So, yeah, obviously shot specifically for, as a teaser and not part of the movie. But, right. Uh, yeah. As a, I was, what, 17 then or just about turned turn six, 16 uh, when this came out. Um, and I was, I could I'd be more excited. I remember reading the Fangoria magazine that Heather Langenkamp was returning. I was like, I can't believe it. You know, I can't believe it. Yeah. I was like, let's uh, rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the first one I saw in the theater, but uh, and you'll have that song stuck in your head for hours. It's yeah. like Popeye. Yeah, sweet. 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 Um, um, yeah. So good teaser trailer. It makes you want to see it. I, I think. I don't know. Makes you want to see it. And you, um, you like the you like Dream Warriors, don't you? I did. Yeah. So that's probably yeah. um, not my favorite of the sequels. Um, I will leave that for a later one. But obviously, it's it still holds up, and it, it's a fun one. Yeah. It is a fun one. Yeah. So All right. I do like Let's... when they create kind of something new just for the movie. I do too. I, yeah. I was going to mention that when they like the teaser, you're like, it's cool. Yeah. Okay. You're thinking about it. You're making it happen. Yeah. Now let's see if things go downhill. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know your thoughts on the next one. Do you know what terror is? Hello. Do you live here? No, but you live here. Real terror. How long has it been since you've been on Elm Street? Welcome to a brand new nightmare. He is the first in fear. I don't want you to help me! I thought you were the one help me, Second to none. Don't let them put you to sleep. He has no mercy. <laughs> and no equal. Now no one sleeps. <laughs> Get ready. This August. Your wildest dreams will come true. How sweet, fresh meat. A Nightmare on Elm Street, Part 4. The Dream Master. Mm. A radical departure from the, uh, <laughs> from the others, of course. It starts off good. Because um, like, okay. And then um, I remember the first time I saw the trailer, because I was like, she goes into the house, and the house is reversed from reality. Because the staircase is on the wrong side. In the movie, you realize why that is. Because uh, she, she goes through the door and then she's in the other version, the mirror version of the house. But I remember, like, that's not right. They they, they yeah. messed it up. Oh, you, you know? remember when you the original release, like, this isn't right. Yeah, I was like, that's not right. The stairs, they messed it up, you know. They but, did uh, mess it up. Yeah, but now we You know don't why. like four. I do not. This is where it became a little too mainstream, and you can see yeah. even just the, some of the, in the shots. the trailer, are, you can see it's too gimmicky. Yeah, it is MTV-ish and um, yep. neon, whatever. I was like, oh, it's um, like, do you know what terror is? I'm like, yeah, they're original. Uh, <laughs> well, like the girl, the cockroach, roach yeah. motel thing, and the shark. I mean, they're hilarious, but they're ridiculous compared yeah. to the predecessor. So, um, yeah, as a Two two years later, I was like, I was not happy. Or a year later, I guess I said, yeah, it was actually a year later. I was like, I was an unhappy teenager. I was like, no. So you were what, seventeen? Um, I was eighteen by this came out, but it was uh, yeah, a little almost a year and a half after Dream Warrior. So, and I get, I mean, this it was this I think made the most probably at the time, and so I, I, I get so. it, you know. But I was just like, uh, it was fine, but no, not. I could yeah. already tell something. It had already kind of run its. Robert knows best. Well, I'll we'll uh, see. So, let's see how the uh, series <laughs> trailers progresses, shall we? I don't have sound. Okay. 
all major theme parks have delays uh, when Walt <laughs> Disney opened up in 19. Here we go. Freddy didn't eat them. <laughs> His mother was a God-fearing woman. His birth was an unspeakable horror. Don't let him do that! His life and death have been one incredible nightmare. <laughs> but now all that is going to change because Freddy wants to become a daddy. Want to make babies? What's wrong with me? You're just a little pregnant. Even if he has to adopt. No! Do I want baby's dream? <laughs> When it comes to chills. It happened while I was awake. When it comes to screams. The part just starts. When it comes to pure terror. Boom at the teeth. <laughs> no one delivers like Freddy. Better buckle up. All right, Kruger. This time it for Cape. <laughs> A nightmare on Elm Street 5. The dream child. It's a boy! When it comes to terror, remember, Freddy knows best. I think that's the worst trailer Ooh. I've seen so they, they far. Cramming so many baby or parenthood. You're just a little pregnant. Lines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the ba- I'm one baby's dream. It's uh, a boy! Yeah, like, this is for keeps. <laughs> that was Freddy so knows bad. That, like they literally like every line they could put in there. So that's a terrible trailer, right, Robert? It is, and it made me. You know, you're like, I was like, as a original Elm Street, I was like, oh my, God. like, I was like, yeah. Now, I see how quickly it devolved uh, into, and this one did not do well. Uh, the movie is actually a little bit better than the probably trailer uh, indicates, but uh, but yeah, yeah, I was just like, mm. Nightmare I, Five and Friday the Thirteenth Five. They don't get any love. They do not. What do you make of the um, all the baby references, though? Like a, a, a little too much. Like we got yeah. it, you know. Like um, it's it's already called the Dream Child. We don't need to keep saying. And that's why I'm like, here's our three favorite taglines. We're gonna say them all because we don't, you know. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like the Dream Child, I get crowbarring one or two baby references, but there was yeah. like four or five. I don't. Know. Even if he has to adopt. <laughs> <laughs> no, that what, was... kind of, what kind of line is that? Right, even if even so if it's bad. an orphan baby. <laughs> so I bad. wish they would have kept it a little bit because it almost started. I'm like, where you like, what is this movie? You know, like, you know, I kind of kind of like that maybe mystery of like, what trailer am I seeing something for? And yeah, the, they quickly turn it into the circus of Freddy. But I like when films do that. When trailers, yeah. it could be interesting even if it mm-hmm. wasn't what it is. Like it, yeah. it could be something different. And they kind of were going that direction, and then it it got bad. There's like, could be anything, and like, and here's how Danny dies, and here's how you know, like, <laughs> which here's I hate, like, happens. like when the Halloween 2018, like, I try not to even watch commercials, but like, literally, it, two frames, I'm like, oh, I don't, I know how that's gonna end, you know, like, it's like, yeah, like don't show everything, you know, right? I know what you're talking about. Or, or they find a dead body, and I like recognize the sweater. I'm like, well. Bye, Nurse Marion. Like, <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Oh my gosh. All right, all right. We might have. <laughs> you want to fire up the next one? Yeah, go ahead. It's about they save the best for last. <laughs> As a boy, he was always different. No one understood him. You ready for it, boy? Time to take your medicine. Thank you, sir. No one could control him. Go inside, honey. But now, it's a new beginning. The beginning of the end for Freddy. Every town has an Elm Street. Is in motion. Did your mind or go for? I'll 
get you, my pretty, and your little soul, too. <laughs> We're gonna have to hit him with everything we've got. Now I'm playing with power! We're in Twin Peaks here. It's gotta be me and him. You wanna live? Maggie, watch out! What's with kids today, huh? Freddy's Dead, the final nightmare. Great graphics. They saved the best for last. Yes. yes. Was that Alice Cooper in there? Yeah, that's Freddy's dad. Nice. I, I do like that they explored, they touched, because <laughs> I thought they should have the origin stories a little yeah. bit, but. They didn't save the best for last. No. Same, so almost the same thing. I like the the first 30 seconds because there's like, he was, you know, like, I'm like, what are you watching here or whatever? If they would have just kind of kept that up and I would say kept it classy, you were like, ooh, this could be good. Quickly you realize, you know, <laughs> Freddy's and the Wicked Witch of the West and then this is happening. Or what's I'll the, swallow your soul. Yeah, and the driving a bus. And I was like, oh, this isn't going to be <laughs> Good. I didn't realize how bad some of the it's not really ADR, but they add these like, <gasps> you know, like for people screaming, yeah. it's like it's so bad. It's not even tr- part of the you could tell. It's, I don't remember that at the time. But No, great locations, though, in the movie. Like you've done that. <laughs> those shots. There are some cool, cool shots in there. Yeah. You posted recently. That's why I, I, it's fresh. But <sighs> don't you think the origin story, though, that could have been better if they did that a little bit more, like showed it, more of the could have earlier been. And, the, and there were some decent moments in there where um and actually in the actual movie where you know uh robert england as uh, as yeah um as a man being kind of creepy and so forth yeah but uh yeah. but as a whole oof, oof. tough it's tough um, as a what 21 year old i can't even tell you how uh <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my, like, why? I remember mean, friends like, why'd you drag us to this? I'm like, I don't know. It was the last one. What number was uh, Freddy's dead? Seven? Six. 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 Yeah. So, yeah, they didn't save the best for last. No, but they kind of did if we consider seven. But we'll we'll see that next. We'll see that next. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's lost the uh, share screen button. So let's talk about Omaha, Nebraska. and. <laughs> Uh, all the fun things happening. All right. Anything exciting is happening. Go ahead. It's always exciting. Here we go. Marcus, come Mark. I'm doing a film about my nightmares as I'm dreaming them. In order for the movie to continue, it, it was dependent on me having more nightmares. Well, fortunately, I did. I'm a little frightened by what Wes may have tapped into. I frankly felt that it was over when we did the last, the final nightmare. <laughs> In a town where movies go over schedule and directors go over budget, something far more evil is out of control. The world of horror films suffered its own terror today as two of Hollywood's best-known special effects technicians were found dead. Part of the theme of the movie is becoming like part of the making of the movie. Can you come with me in my dreams? I think that only happens in the movies. What happens when the story dies, the evil is set free. Now that the films have ended, the genie's out of the bottle. That's what the nightmares are telling me, and that's what I'm writing. This is still a script we're talking about, right, Wes? It's kind of crossover, out of films, into our reality. The only way to stop is to make another movie. Oh, my God. The bad man's getting off close. You're gonna have to make a choice. What kind of choice? Whether or not you're willing to play Nancy. One last time. No! 
Say the issue with with the trailer is um, the movie is the movie itself is a little ahead of its time. Mm-hmm. So the trailer people weren't ready for that yet, and the trailer was so convoluted, it didn't really establish what it was about, what it was for. I, I remember even as a fan reading about they were calling it Nightmare on Elm Street Seven, I think Ascension at the time. Um, uh, I was confused about because I read it, it was like they're playing themselves, and I'm like, what? I mean, as a fan, I didn't quite get it either. You know, I was like, what? What is this movie? So even going into it that yeah. opening night, I was like, as once you got into, it, I was like, oh, okay, this is kind of what they're doing. Um, so um, a couple of things I was like, one, I, I now, I, you know, I love the trailer; it makes me excited to go watch it again. I love the soundtrack. Um, and Heather Langenkamp is at her best and she's looking her best. I just love her. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. But, uh, did you, did you, um, you saw this theatrically, obviously oh, you walked yes. away, like you knew you were happy and everything. It, it didn't I was, so, yeah, I, I was, oh, I love this one. Yeah. So I just, I knew immediately. Yeah. So there, there was kind of hitting all the buttons and, uh, one of my favorite moments, uh, uh, was when she, uh, what, what, what do you, why do you keep calling me Nancy, John? And he's like, why do you keep calling me John? You know, like they're arguing as they go out of the house. Um, and then he gets to his car and he turns around and all of a sudden he's in his Elm Street costume with the, 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 the badge and the car behind him is his 1984 car, you know, like, and he's like, you realize that she's now have devolved into that. And then they come back to her and she's in her, her pajamas and then um you know, he drives off and they kind of do that slow turnaround and now she's actually in front of the elm street house i was like i can't i was in movie heaven yeah that is so cool yeah. and especially uh, the way they did it too yeah i mean the cinematography yeah. and so they were what was supposed to happen is what happens in the movie is that she uh she faces and she runs into the door and the door shuts behind her and she's supposed to be in the elm street set had the house from the original movie um but budget wise they didn't want to do that so she now she runs in oh. the door shuts and she's in her normal house in tarzana <laughs> um, right yeah um but i was like you know I, i've I, seen it yeah i would have peed my pants if she oh yeah if they brought back the original elm street set um, cause I think they still had it in storage too, but they're like, Oh, it was too much money. To-. I was like, please. And like, it's like <laughs> yeah. oh, please. I would have not known what to do with myself. Oh, could you just, imagine? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so yeah, I, I'd love that in the theaters, the trailer uh, obviously made me excited to see it and watching yeah. it now makes me kind of re-excited to. It is, just, it is a good movie and ahead of its time. They did a great job. Yeah, what'll be what 94 was it'll be what'll be 30 years yeah yeah next 30 year. years next year yeah. crazy but it was a meta movie before i think we even knew what meta was oh yeah yeah uh, totally ahead of its time um where i'm sitting right now is actually where they uh the base camp was for the movie yeah. and nobody else knows that but me and do you know how i know how do you know i'll tell you the truth robert <laughs> i'm robert <Eagle. laughs> ah that doesn't make I, sense. I knew it. It does not. But this, All right. this whole time. Yeah. Moving along. We got two left and they're both glorious. Oh, gosh. Hi, I'm Zoe Gong, as a oh. traditional Chinese medicine chef and food therapist. <laughs> Spider.
Welcome to my nightmare. We're not safe awake or asleep. Why won't you die? I don't think that was the true trailer, though. No, that for some reason they used the Blu-ray trailer for that. So for listeners, are probably like, "What is this?" It was probably to their advantage not to put any as hardly any dialogue <laughs> <Me too. laughs> to make the movie more enticing. Um, but I was like, "Place your bets." Um, oh. I was like, "Oof!" Like that's what you chose as the. Um, so uh, for listeners, you can tell that was the Freddy versus Jason trailer. Um, the uh, the the lack of dialogue actually makes it look more interesting than it is. Um, Yes, agreed. In reality, um, but um, should have like one we talked about this before. Probably a decade too late um, to kind mm-hmm. of uh, catch on that. But uh, a lot of people still like this. But it was like you can't, you can't win this. This movie would never work. It only works in kind of uh, some ideas and you know playground. No, but, neither uh, intellectual property will yeah. win. Yeah. And I think you and I, we've done a few shows on Friday the Thirteenth movies ranked i feel like you place this one below jason goes to hell i don't even know if i'd count this one as anything yeah yeah like it was like uh there's nothing i i do love the guy the actor from i forget his name he's in night at the roxbury and clueless he plays the sheriff in this the deputy oh and he's like, uh, you kids need some assistance uh <laughs> I know that you know, like, yeah, um, uh, Con, oh, no, I can't remember his name. So you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, he does conventions because he's in one of my uh, favorite um, movies, uh, Big Man, uh, uh, Dead Man on Campus. Oh, campus. yeah, yeah, we've talked about oh, that. Oh, my. That is like, I have, I actually had him write. He's a great his, actor. He's hilarious. His entire, like, six lines of dialogue for both me and my sister on his uh, thing for, from Dead Man on Campus. But oh, uh, nice. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, ignoring the trailer for now, yeah, the movie just fit. It has a couple of good moments. I like the opening death with the kid in the um, the, bed the bed that he smitches yeah. in half or whatever. I was like, oh, okay. But I remember immediately, like, oh, they're not, they did Friday the 13th wrong, you know. They at least got Freddy back, so there's some continuity there. But it was like, that's not our Jason. That's not Mrs. Voorhees. That's not, they almost no. did Nev Campbell. Where they, I think they did approach Betsy Palmer to re- uh, I would the movie would probably added two stars if they got Betsy Palmer back for one scene to play Mrs. Voorhees. I couldn't imagine, you know, yeah, they either I don't know if they were willing to not pay her the money or what I can't remember what it was, but like she would they have been worth paid her the money every penny. Um, since yeah, yeah, no, Lost. I remember the the remake. I watching that in the theater and the scene where the voiceover and they're showing the camp counselors and every everything. You're like, what? What are we watching? This isn't Crystal Lake. I know. Like it just didn't look like it, and I don't know. Made up stuff like Freddy's afraid of water, Jason's afraid of water. How can we use them? Like that's not true. That, like that's not part of the thing. Yeah, yeah. The whole Jason's like he's been in the lake. I don't know how many times. He's not afraid of. <laughs> he's lived underwater. He was yeah. chained there for like years. Oh, uh, like Freddy's. Yeah, the whole burning. thing afraid of water. I was like, no, he's not. No, that's not mm-hmm. okay. Um. We have one more here. Uh, I remember this one. I saw this theatrically, and there was a child in a stroller crying at the 1040 show. I remember you talk about that. So I'll never forget it. All right. uh, Let's watch the final trailer. Don't fall 
Philippe. like a good idea at the time. I don't hear you. Oh. Click it. I don't hear you. Yeah, you're not coming. I don't hear you. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Yep. They should have had Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Uh, uh, then it'd be the that. true Ross, so you're a nightmare. Um, so same thing. It started off good. It was like I was like, oh, you know, this is a darker take. You know, seeing Freddie getting whatever, and almost immediately, you know, it's like, let me rip off my jacket so you can see my sweater. And then, yeah. yes, right away, like, yeah. Hey, and then it's, it's followed from producer Michael Bay, and I, 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 you just feel like, click, you know, like, no, you already know it's going to be not good. Yeah, the jacket. Um, they're like. I'm burning. Let me just show you my jacket uh, as Superman, yeah. like ripping I, it off. I'm wearing a red and green sweater, everybody. <laughs> Wink. Wink. What is this? Uh, that trailer reeks 2010, too. Yes. So there's moments that are like, okay, maybe. And then, and I forget there's moments that are actually not in the movie um, <laughs> of scenes they cut out. So, because I remember waiting oh, for certain really? scenes. Yeah. And there's like, the, with the, uh, st- remember he's standing on the roof by the pool. Um, and stuff like there's there's scenes that are they've completely cut out. Uh, oh, OK. But um, but yeah. So th- but then also it has moments of like, oh, they're doing a different not a different take, but something updated. But then they have almost a shot by shot, you know, with the glove and the bathtub. And I was like, well, yeah, no. yeah. You know, like, what is this? Is this the same or is it not? You know? Yep. Yep. But yeah, I noticed that with the shots, like the the distinguishing exact shots you're like yeah okay what what's going on here but they took a lot of departures yeah so so seeing that trailer i i also knew i'm like no this is not for me they're just using the title but how did nightmare on elm street do that one financially was it uh i don't think it did very well because obviously did decide to do another sequel i mean i i think if it would have done very well they probably would have tried to franchise that but um, yeah, I think it was also they they weren't quite, they, you know, they're trying to capture, you know, there was, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake had done well. And so they were just kind of read. Re- yeah, trying all these, you know, names and so forth. And after like and that's where like for a while I thought they would never touch Halloween, you know, and then, of course, that remade. So that kind of felt like open the floodgates saying we can remake anything and nobody will care. <laughs> right. Yeah. Let's just do everything. Yeah. So at this point, that was kind of like. And that's why they're sometimes like, I don't care what they remake next. They'll just can't. God bless them. Um. 